Hello and welcome to the bench. I've got today some wire glue ordered from the bay or eBay that is and this stuff is supposed to be used for PCB repair and all that kind of good stuff. It was about four dollars and some odd cents US from eBay. So is this stuff any good? Well let's crack it open and see. As we see here, it's a really black substance. I'm going to guess that means it's carbon filled rather than silver filled. So it's probably going to be a bit more resistive than a silver based epoxy. But uh, I put some out here on a, a piece of uh, breadboard and let it dry overnight. And you can see I just glued two wires directly to the, the uh, piece of FR4. So let's measure the resistance of these wires. So we're basically going to be measuring the resistance of that junction right there. Let's see what we get here. Well, about 10 ohms. And it's slowly going down there. About 10 ohms. Alright, let's go down here and just measure directly. about 14 ohms between that distance. If we keep moving over, uh, let's get closer. Uh, 9, 8 ohms. So it, it's definitely affected by the length of the traces. So a little higher resistance. I have here, I've also got some, uh, some silver filled epoxy. It's a two part solution that I ordered from somewhere. And uh, you, you break this package and mix it all together and then apply it in a single use. And then you, some of these you have to bake them um, at a certain temperature for a certain time in order to get a good cure. But I don't remember if this is one you bake or not. But as you can see, this is a silver filled. It's a very light color. Uh, it's also got the, uh, the activator or the hardener there. And as you mix this together and apply that, um, I've got a, a little board here that I put some of that on. Um, so uh, fix some of these components on here. Let's just check the resistance of a bit of that for comparison. So looks like the resistance of the silver epoxy is quite a bit less and the, the resistance of my actual leads is around 1.5 ohms I believe or 0 0.8, 0 0.7, somewhere in there. So a little bit of extra resistance added by the leads. But So we have a, a, a little bit better quality epoxy here in the silver filled epoxy versus the, um, what I'm going to assume is carbon filled. It came with this little piece of paper. Ah, good price, top quality, best service. Authentic brand wire glue, highest quality available. The absolute best electrical conductive glue. Uh, I would dispute that, but I went to the website, and guess what? The website's offline. Uh, it says the website's been used too much or exceeded the limit. So, oh well, no data sheet on this one. So we're just guessing. So with a resistance of about uh, 8 ohms, something like that, 8 to 15 ohms, uh, between a, like a 2 millimeter spacing there, 2.5-3 millimeter spacing between the, uh, between the connections, that's not too bad. We could use that for... Um, low voltage stuff, we could use it for low current applications, uh, repairing uh, small breaks in traces possibly if we could get it on. The nice part about this one is I noticed you don't have to heat it. I just applied this uh, about uh, about 18 hours ago and let it set and it's pretty hard. Let's see here how hard it actually is. Uh, it kind of crumbles off if you really poke at it. But uh, yeah it would it would do for uh, reasonable repairs like a, a trace or or something like that a, a broken or a, a strip trace whatever you might have there uh, but it, uh, it may be sort of useful in that application the nice part about it is it's quite inexpensive and you don't have to bake it to get it hard uh, whereas this one here and some of these silver filled ones you, you do have to put those in an uh, extended or a elevated temperature for a good a good little period of time and sometimes that's a bad idea for example in this case I'm gluing magnets onto a, a small PCB and of course the magnets are negatively affected by temperature so you don't really want to get those 
any hotter than you have to. So in that case, this might be a, a useful alternative. So there we have it, the Good Helper wire glue from eBay. Four dollars and something, I'll put the uh, link in the description. And if you have any comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.